Dylan, this is Colossius, and I'm back with another 5Q to 1 Dawn video, and today we're going to do another game. So let's go ahead and get started. So Alright, that didn't take too long. Hello, have fun. I forgot last time. <clears throat> All right, so we are white. So with white, uh, my openings are usually just one of two things. So if they're a star point, then I go cross just to make it a simple game so they can't cross and start a fight. Uh, I do think that cross Huseki is good for white if white has Komi, uh, but if you want to just play it simple and or not, you can just prevent the cross immediately. And from here, I go 3-4 if they go 4-4. And if they go 3-4, then I go 4-4. So I kind of do the opposite of what they do. So since he went 4-4, I do 3-4. And this is kind of like what I do as white. I mean, no like major reason. Uh, it's just uh, I like hitting some territory if they're going for some influence. And then I'll just counter their influence and then have some points. And if they go for some territory, then I'll get my own influence or something. You never know. Uh, San Rense. So... The white side is second to the left side, right? So I could technically do this, but as white, you usually want to pressure your opponent's opening. But you know what? Let's see if we can get away with it. It's the classy approach, right? Go for the widest side. So this is the widest side. So let's see if we can get away with it. Why not, right? I mean, we're amateur players. We're not professionals. So our opening doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. So maybe we can try it. Uh, another option I was considering is going here because this one's third line, fourth line, and this one's fourth line, fourth line. So this is settled versus unsettled, and this is unsettled versus unsettled. So the bottom would be bigger than the top, <clears throat> but I went for the open side just to see how it does. All right, so they did do a double wing, so I kind of want a 3-3 immediately. Usually against the double wing, you almost always want a 3-3 immediately just because if they have um, if they have a double wing and then they get this 3-3, they have a lot of territory. And you usually don't want to give that. All right, so he's going to go for Sente here, which is a little annoying because I really want to get to the top side. So I want to see if I can do anything here. I don't think I can, other than make this stone a little uncomfortable. I really wish I'd get Sente, but I don't think I can. Uh... I really want Sente, and I'm not familiar enough with this on how to get Sente. So if I Hane, he blocks, and I connect. He probably fixes that, right? He could also just Nobi. And then I have to play here, 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 here. Or actually, he might be, maybe he could just do that, I don't know. Um, he, could, he could just Nobi, and then I'm not alive locally. But if he plays a Tiger's Mouth, which I'm sure uh, probably he will since it's 5Q, but I don't want to just assume my opponent's going to mess up. So I play, he plays, I play. If he plays the Tiger's Mouth, then my plan is to go here and then here. And then I'm alive and I can Chinooki. But if I go here, he goes here, I go here, and he goes here. Hmm. See, this is a Joseki. I actually don't know. See, I'm trying to forget Sente, and I kind of came up with this idea in my head. And now I really want to look it up. Um after the game, just to see if it's Sente or not. Uh, just to see what the variations are, because I might be completely wrong, but it would be definitely something worth looking up later. Uh, so I encourage you guys to look that up. What if I play a Hana here? What What's the result? Uh, I should probably know this, but I'm very outdated with my moves. I do know the basic is to go here and then here, or just go here directly, but that does give Black Sente. Is that good enough? Alright, so... Can a classy approach this? So step one um, is make a base, which I'm doing. So expand. Uh, step two is expand the ice. Or step two is don't get surrounded, and I am already surrounded. So step three, expand your ice base. So I'm step three. So I can either go here or I can go here. It seems like both of those are valid choices. I know this gives a tiger's mouth, which also makes this very secure. But is it worth? Is this area worth this area? I really don't know. Okay, so I don't know this move. I feel like it'd work against the 5Q, but I don't want to do it just because it's a 5Q. 
Um, but I also don't see what's wrong with it. Whatever, let's just play Joseki. This is simple, this is Joseki. I really want a honey. But this is Joseki. Get a honey now. Nah, let's do this. It makes the stone uncomfortable when I get this Atari. And now I still have some invasion Aji here. This is going to be a big Moyo game. So you get to learn how to play against the Moyo. Alright, so he does have the double wing. Do I want a 3-3 again? Uh, I really don't want to give him Sente again. Uh, you're supposed to 3-3 though, but if he gets Sente again, that's going to be very large. Alright, so open corners. It's hard to say if this is an open corner or not. <laughs> then open sides are an open sides in the largest framework, which is this one. So I could easily reduce by just playing anywhere on this line in here. Uh, or I can invade. Now, if I invade, uh, let's I go here, he kicks, I go here, he jumps. I uh, play, let's say, here, and then jump, and then giraffe or horse. I don't know. I never did figure out if it was giraffe or horse. Um, he builds this area and this area. I usually don't like invading my opponent, though. I usually prefer, like, because I'm on my own, I usually prefer, like, reducing and then building my own area. Um, so let's go here. Weakness first. Let's poke at this weakness, and then maybe I can cap. And then maybe build my own Moyo? Is that just overplay? Eh, I'm an amateur, so I can get away with it, right? <laughs> We're just amateurs. I can just get away with this, right? Hmm. Oh, it's a line of the Moyo, so I can just simply reduce. I can also try to cut, which might be a little bit more powerful if I cut the stone off and start a fight. If we both run, then I destroy his and he destroys mine, but his is bigger. That's definitely worth considering. How would I do it, though? If I push, he plays, I play. That cut's annoying. But if I Atari, he connects, and then I Atari, and then come out or something. It looks like he's in bad shape right here with that empty triangle. Uh, and then we both run. Maybe. Uh, what if I go here? He plays, I jump. That's terrible shape. Shoulder hit there, Hane. He cuts, I know B. Nope, that's a lot of Aji. That is bad shape. Uh, so if I just push in a Hane, that starts a fight. Hmm. If I cap, is this too soft? I feel like that's too soft. I don't know what to do. So I really want to utilize his weakness. So here, what I'm trying to do, what the classy approach I'm trying to apply is weakness before big move. Uh, so if I can destroy the area with weakness, it's much easier to do. But if I don't, if I can't, then I should just play a big move like reduce or invade. Um, I really want to get this 3-3, though. So let's do weakness first. Let's do weakness first. I'm going to try pushing. Uh, I don't really see a better thing, so I'm just going to do the best I can come up with. I don't know if this is good for me or not. Leela will probably say it's, like, terrible, but Leela says most of my moves are terrible. <laughs> Alright, this does give him some forcey moves in the corner uh, for endgame, but it should be okay. So if I just attach, that's just good for him, so I'm going to go here. Oh. That's... 
pretty good. Why didn't I consider that one? Hmm, see? This is why I'm out of practice. That hurts, but... Oh, well, now he connects. Because a push again would make a broken shape for him. That would be bad. But this peep right here for... If black plays right here, my shape is really awkward. If I were him, I would just connect. And that's a lot of points. Mm -hmm. uh, what if I go here now? So weakness first. So uh, attack this stone and unsettle it. But that center is getting really big. Oh well. Weakness first. This is getting me a double wing though. And I really don't like it. So I don't like my shape here. Maybe that's why they don't play the Chinese opening right here. Um, do I Hane and then push? That's a shape, right? Touch Hane. And then they Nobi and then you Nobi. This cutting point is very powerful, though. So at any time he cuts and I have to Atari. Alright, this is shape. So we're going shape. Touch on it. This will keep us strong and keep him baseless. So I feel like I'm a little behind. Not by much. I do have Comey. But still, he has control of the section of the board. Uh, so I I need to perform well in this fight. Uh, otherwise, I feel like I'm a little behind. But it's okay. It's okay. We still have the rest of the game to play. And I've lost to a 5k before, so <laughs> it's not like it's unheard of for me to lose. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the only move. Like, I'm pretty confident this is literally the only move on the entire board that is a good move. Uh, this is weakness, so I gotta fix, right? This is really big, though. Over here. No, this is, this is my base, my connections, and everything else. Now he's going to cut, Atari, connect, and then I run away. He runs away. Uh, looks like he has an advantage in the fight. So, because he has more stones, so he'll be surrounding me faster than I'll be surrounding him. So he has a little bit of an advantage in this fight. Ooh, that's a mistake, because now I just fixed my only weakness, right? My weakness first. Yeah. And now I have no weakness. That was a big mistake. So, a good lesson. Oh, I'm a little, I'm a little low. Let me lower that. So a good rule of thumb is do not play Ajikeshi without an extremely good reason. So this kind of like forces me to fix this because it threatens it and it doesn't really do anything here so this one i really don't understand what it does honestly it doesn't get them eyes it doesn't get them a base and it kind of makes me fix <clears throat> excuse me so don't force your opponent to fix things like that don't uh because you're the whole time i'm sitting here worried about it i'm worried about this cut why give me the chance to fix it even if you don't use it immediately maybe you just jump or run away or do this move whatever right do whatever you're gonna do why would you fix the cut or why would you let me fix the cut and give me time to fix the cut? That to me is just um, Ajikashi and it's just, just not good. Alright, do I have any weaknesses? No. Does my opponent have any weaknesses? Yes, he has a weak group. Uh, so step one, take the base. Uh, he doesn't have a base. Step two, surround. So where to surround? I could peep here. That seems cool. But this is the vital point, I believe. So this looks like the vital point. But if I go here, he goes here. I can cut the stone off. Is that worth it? 
No, I still think this area is the big one. So I'm just going here directly. And then I'm going to try to get to this shape point, but probably he'll play here. Because this is the shape point right here, because the knight's move. He ran with the knight's move, so he does need to... This people will be very powerful. So if I were him, I would play right here. Alright, so now I do have the advantage in the fight. I am surrounding him faster than he is surrounding me. Uh, that does That's Aji Keshi again, because maybe a one-point jump or something. You just fixed my knight's move, so don't play Aji Keshi. Also hurts his weak group, because it takes a liberty, it takes some eye shape, so... Bad, a good exchange for me, so I'm happy to play it. Is he going to sacrifice his weak group? So here's an idea. What if I play here, and then white plays here, and then I play here, and just sacrifice it? And then just build the massive Mayo. <laughs> Is that a strategy that can be applied here? Just sacrifice this entire group and get control of this entire area. That'd be a very interesting strategy. Because <laughs> at that point, it's not its not a weak group. It's just that if you consider it dead, then you can just use it for Aji to build your large area. Very interesting idea. <sighs> okay. So he's doing that. A little bit off the vital point. Um, so first off, check the connections. I go here. He goes here. I connect. He fixes. I can cut this. That gives him a lot of Tiger's Mouth, though. So. Uh, I can easily cut right here. And he goes back. I go, oh, I need to, I need to hurry up. Uh, so I'm just going to surround the whole group. Um, read the cuts. Doot, doot. Even if it can cut, usually you don't want to just get the tail. You want to get the whole thing and then cut later. Ooh. That seems bad. Uh, knight's move to attack because this is strong and I have strength over here, so I'm not worried about the cut. So if you, if I was, I would play diagonal. But because I'm not, knight's move to attack. And this is just me surrounding. I'm just classy approaching it. Uh, simply because I don't have a lot of time. Uh, oh, you can't see the time. Uh, I have seven stones in 40 seconds, so it's glowing red. So I have to play a little bit quickly here. I'm under a little bit of time pressure, so I'm just playing basic instead of uh, playing a reading thing. Uh, seven stones left, so... Uh, take the base. I'm not able to read, I'm not able to read too much because of overtime. Uh, I do want to try to be careful here. I really wish I could read this faster. Dude. Okay, this is simple enough. Uh, actually, I can go here. No, because I'm surrounded. If I go here, any... Yeah, I don't want to do that. Ah, I really wish I could. I really do. I really want to play here, but... Ah, whatever. Now, if he goes here, can I just know he? I think I can. Yeah, I'm going to noobie. Because this is the vital point. Because if I just block, he gets all those forcing moves, right? Uh -huh. Is this Sachi Keshi? I don't know. So, take the base. Uh, looks like this will live. Uh Oh, crap. I timed out. I didn't play my moves fast enough. I had 3 moves left. <laughs> crap. Uh, I need the I need the 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 sound, the count. Like 3 to it looks like it lagged a little bit cuz it just dinged. I don't know if you heard that. Well, I thought I had more time than that. You win some, you lose some. Oh well. Uh, but I, I really need that like 10, 9, 8. I really rely on that a lot. So I don't look at the clock enough. Okay. Uh, let's see. I play here and 
I'm pretty confident he can just live. He attach there, 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 just live or something, right? So let's assume that lives. Uh, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 16, 8, uh, 20 to 30. Um, 36, the 7, the 8, the 9, 40. So about 40. And I had 36 and a half. So he's up by this chunk. But um, I could start another fight. So that's a little bit of a disadvantage. Uh huh. Maybe I should not have played. Go away. Go away. Why is this? Why is this here? <laughs> that's a bug <laughs> that's a bug if you have a hover stone and you time out that hover stone will stay and then yeah that's a bug okay um maybe this isn't good who knows okay and i went after weakness uh actually let's see if we can get combo to load so I'm going to going to do do that, and I'm going to load. Oh, it's not come below. Uh, wall theory, wall theory, and let's actually review this game together because there's a lot of interesting things to try and learn from this game. And since I'm also playing this to try and learn, I think this is a good thing to do. All right, where is my? Where is my thing? Uh, bear with me while I jump through scenes to try and find what I'm looking for. Is that extra? Yes. There we go. Okay. No, no. Okay, so this is number five. Ten games out of 78,000. 4.8% of the time. So number one, oh, wow. I am wrong. It's the, they go here. Hmm. One and then three. So it looks like they choose Shamari. So interesting enough, some, some logic in there uh, uh, trying to apply the classy approach again. Sometimes they consider the three four an open corner. Um, so it's interesting to see. And this uh, board, it would s seem like they're considering the three four an open corner if they do that. But what I find very fascinating is that the top side is bigger than the bottom side, or more commonly played, even though it's low, because usually it's two fourth lines first. Uh, but it looks like one is 69 or uh, 33 percent, two is for uh, 23 percent, and three is uh, 18 percent. Okay, and then five is 4.8 percent. Okay, so one of those two I knew was common, but let's see how far we can take this. All right, and he went to. Apparently, I am wrong. Uh, I know the you're. So, I thought that you're supposed to do this. So let's let's look at this. Let's see how what the timing is to. Uh, is there a next button? Whatever. Let's see what the timing is for the three three. Yep. Start a fight. Okay. What's the next move? Okay, weak groups, weak groups, weak groups. Loading. We're just gonna load, we're just gonna load, we're just gonna load, we're just gonna load. Hmm. Okay.
Well, this actually makes me really sad. Unfortunately, we cannot apply the Clossy Approach opening as white on this position. And this makes me really, really sad. Ooh, actually, actually, what if we applied it here? Because it's still the open side, and it's kind of the open corner, so what if we applied it at 2? Right. Now let's say he went 1. Do I throw 3? No? Ah! Uh, apparently, if the two stones are high, approaching a start point is bigger than the 3-3. Three, three. Now, is this true with Leela? That's also an interesting question. Uh, can I pull up Lila? Lila. Online. Go.com. Can I use Lila on a demo board? I really want to know. Can I use Lila on a demo board? Uh, so let's go and make a demo board. Great demo. Okay. So doot, 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 All right. That's good enough. Can I... How do I use Leela? I can only use Leela in games that I play, really? That's boring. Do I have Leela on my computer? Leela! I do not. I have a picture of her. <laughs> I have a picture of Leela. Um, no, no, no. Sad face. Very sad face. Ah, <sighs> well guys, I honestly don't know what to tell you here. I, uh, pretty much have been proven wrong on everything I said about the opening. Hmm. But, I still want to share this video with you guys, because I think there's still several things to learn from it. So one, you learn that I'm not always right. <laughs> always double check me two you learned how i checked myself and how i check my own stuff when i'm by myself i of course i could ask a pro or ask some friends and stuff as well but you kind of saw the process i went through to see if my variations are good or bad um and three hopefully this is a new pattern or a pattern for you guys to learn and then you can study it on your own so, as embarrassing as this is, I think it's good quality learning material, and I do still want to share it with you guys. But, oh, right in my, right in my go pride. Everything I said is wrong this video. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, it looks like, for some reason, the top is better. Now, usually what I see is the one space low. This is what I see at the common amateur level. And then, of course, 3-3 three, three would be the next move when it loads. I guess this doesn't like loading when I'm streaming. Um, but this is also perfectly fine. And then go Kobayashi and then go opening. Or, sorry, I said opening. Bottom side. Uh, looks like one or two. So, yeah, this is very interesting. A lot of interesting things to see here. Uh, I will say, though, I will say that I have heard a lot of mixed opinions about San Rensei with modern AI moves. And I find that very interesting. I've had people tell me that San Rensei is very old-fashioned and not played anymore. But I've also had a couple people tell me that San Rense that the AI likes San Rense, um, and because it's a lot of Mayo. But the people who told me that it's not played anymore and it's out of fashion is because the AI doesn't like it or doesn't let it happen or something. I don't know. So San Rense is either in or out. I'm honestly not sure. I will say that it is I it was played very uh a lot um a while ago up until AI came out and then everything just went to crap and we have to relearn everything from the ground up. Uh but with that being said, even though it's like one of the first openings you play is like a twenty game and stuff, I will say that the Sonrense is one of the most complicated openings that you can learn. 
So don't for, don't underestimate the Sandrin side. Don't underestimate this position. This position can get very complicated very quickly, and it can get very, very hard. Uh, with that being said, I really want to know if this Han is a move. Round stones. How do I search? Someone told me to do this. Whatever. Three. Okay, three is 0.2% of the time. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I know one and two. Everyone knows one and two. I have no idea what this is. That must be a very particular position. Uh, three. Okay, so this nobi was correct. Um, and it looks like you do make this exchange. Okay, so at least I read this correctly. Oh crap, I played that without letting it load. One, two, okay. Yeah, that's similar. I also thought maybe Tanuki, oh, actually. One, two, looks like 15 Tanukis. I think that's Tanuki, right? 83.3% uh, of the time you Tanuki this. Oh, uh, that would be fair, because that's what I'll, that was one of the things I was reading. I'm glad I read this much, at least, right? I read this much. And then three Tanukis, it looks like. I think that's a Tanuki. I, I'm i not sure how this site works perfectly. Um, I want to look at Josekipedia, but from what I know, it's very, very outdated. And it doesn't have the new AI stuff. Good move. Yep. Noby. I was confident that the 5Q would probably play this. Maybe you wouldn't. Maybe you wouldn't. Maybe I just uh, underestimating 5Qs. And if he did, that would have been too easy. But I knew that this move existed, and I wasn't sure how it played out. See, one pretty confident that the attach is better. Slightly good for black. Yeah. I'm pretty confident you're supposed to attach. Whatever. Whatever. I I need Leela, guys. You know, sometimes I just need Leela. All right. Well, um, this has been a very interesting video. <laughs> and hopefully you guys found it helpful. This is unfortunately going to put us uh, one game behind in our course to one dawn. But this is part of the process. You're going to lose some games too. And don't let that discourage you. Try to learn from it. I think there's a lot to learn from losses. And I think there's even more to learn from losses than there are from victories. But playing a lot and getting some victories under the belt, one, raises confidence, and two, uh, it reinforces good habits and stuff and gives you um, a good solid play and helps you have a lot more discipline. But loot losses are part of the process. Losses are part of improving. And I think this is a great example of that. Um, do I think I could have won? Maybe. Probably I could have outfought him or something, but the time clearly got to me, so I lost. Oh well. I lose the five Qs. It happens. Uh, but the purpose of this, like I said, at the start of the series, one was to get me some more practice, which I'm clearly getting, <laughs> uh, and getting some more study time in. So I'm I'm cl uh, clearly benefiting from this. So one is to get me more practice, and two is to help you guys learn new things. Uh, so as long as you guys have learned something from this video, I am perfectly satisfied with this video, even though it's a little bit embarrassing. I really hope you guys learned from this and learned a lot of new shapes and patterns. And I hope this guy, this video helps you guys out as long as that does that. And I, then I accomplished my two goals with making this video. So as always guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.